today's topic is economic security. We are reading from the Morris literature. We're on page, uh, section 19. I'm on page 22 of my document. And we're gonna be talking about economic security. I'm gonna scroll down here, I'm gonna read for you. As we scroll down to page 25. And that great prophet, Noble Drew Ali, he stated, in connection with our religious aims and beliefs, we must promote economic security. He states, the preaching of economic security among us is by no means as widespread and intensive as the circumstances demand. No one thing is more needed among us at this time than greater economic power, better positions for our men and women, more business employment for our boys and girls, and bigger incomes will follow our economic security. We shall be secure in nothing until we have economic power. A beggar people cannot develop the highest in them, nor can they attain to a genuine enjoyment of the spiritualities of life. So again, we are reading from uh, number 19 or section 19 of the Moorish literature. And our topic today, again, is economic security. What he say about it? He said nothing. Nothing, no other one thing is more needed among us. Well, it's May the 1st in 2022. This document was written many years ago. We should find out if we can the exact date, but many, many decades ago. And how, are, how was our economic power doing today? How was our economic strength? How was our economic freedom? How was our economic security? Well, what is exactly is economic security? Let's get a definition for economic security. Listen good. Economic security is the ability of people to meet their needs consistently. It is connected to the concept of a economic well-being and also to the notion of the modern welfare state, a governmental entity that commits itself to providing baseline guarantees for its citizens' security. Let's listen to it. Let's try that one one more time. Economic security. He said the greatest thing we need to preach is economic security. Well, what is economic security? And we're saying that Economic security is the ability of people to meet their needs consistently. What needs are those? What needs are those? Food, clothing, and shelter. That is that basic needs of the human being for survival. The basic needs. Do we want to live a basic life? Is that what we think of ourselves? But we do need a baseline to measure economic security. It is connected to the concept of economic well-being and also to the notion of the modern welfare state. Today, again, May 1st, 2022, there are many in the Moorish community or the Black community or the African-American community or the community of our people that find themselves collecting welfare. So the notions or the idea of economic security comes out of the idea or concept of economic well-being. What is the state of our economic well-being as a people today? We have some millionaires. We have some billionaires. But the masses, they say, 
of 40 to 50 million of our people. That great prophet, Noble Drew Ali, he called those people Moors. He said that they were, and he is a Moorish American. And he is teaching us as we read that we must promote economic security. He said the preaching of economic security among us is by no means as widespread and intensive as the circumstances demand. Well, we can address two things there because we have to ask the question because that statement leads us to critical thinking. So we have to ask the question, what are people preaching today? What were they preaching then? They weren't preaching economic security, obviously, or he would not have made that statement. The other point that we can come on the other side is what are the circumstances of that day? And what are the circumstances of today? Do we need the preaching of economic security amongst the millennials today, May 1st, in 2022? Do we need a change from the state in which our condition is in, May 1st, 2022, Moors? He said the preaching of economic security among us is by no means as widespread and intensive as the circumstances demand. What are our circumstances today? Do we find ourselves living in luxury and good homes? Do we find ourselves secure in our economics today that we have no problem providing economic security consistency, consistently, food, clothing, and shelter for ourselves and our families, for our people? He said, one, no other one thing is more needed among us at this time than greater economic power. And what is greater economic power? Well, economic power refers to the abilities of countries, businesses, or individuals to improve living standards. It increases their ability to make decisions on their own that benefit them. Let's say it again. We're talking about economic power, a definition, a definition of economic power. See, it says it refers to, refers to the ability of a country, business or individual to improve living standards. What is our ability today, individually as families to improve our living standard? And how do we go about improving our living standard? If we're talking about economic security, food, clothing and shelter, are we owning homes? Are we growing our own food? Are we having our own grocery stores, our own distribution of our own food? Are we food secure in our economics? Our abilities, it says, of individuals to improve their living standards. You improve your living standards by improving your ability to provide have maintained food, clothing, and shelter. We're just introducing this subject today as a, as a part one, economic security. So I wanna hear from you, Morris. I wanna hear back from you. Is this a valuable subject that needs to be addressed today amongst the Moorish American? Is this a, a subject that needs to be delved into and given more attention today amongst the Moors and Moorish Americans on May 1st, 2022? Or have we solved this problem already? Or are we economically secure already? We want to hear from you, Moors. More Zion, More Zion Trading Post and Botanica is on YouTube, is on Instagram. We want to hear from you, Moors. Is economic security something that needs to be preached among us today. Wishing you love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Wishing you 
light, and love. Wishing you superior economic security. Shalom, shalom.